Oh there guys, just a quick video, or it may turn into a long one. I've got a slight setup here, and this is a uh, a light or a street lamp that was commonly used in the United Kingdom, and it's also used all over the world. It's a low pressure sodium lamp, and uh, they're very efficient, and uh, sadly they're all being replaced with LED or high pressure sodium now. Uh, I'm not sure if they're used elsewhere in the world, but because they uh, they only come with a bayonet fitting on it, which is our standard light fitting in the UK. Obviously you can't just simply put one of these into a, a normal light, it won't work, it has to have control gear. And this is only a, this is the smallest version that's available, it's the 18 watt version. The lamp itself consists of a U-shaped arc tube, which is actually quite big, it's like almost like a fluorescent, clear fluorescent tube bent in two inside an outer case and in there there's a high vacuum as you see the uh, shininess on there is where the, the, the barium getter is and if you can, you can tell on camera you can see some little blobs of uh, metallic sodium the outer glass is covered with an indium tin oxide infrared reflector because these tubes have to be at 350 degrees to keep the sodium in a vapour so this is used to reflect infrared light back and plus it's a high vacuum because of the getter so it makes them more efficient but it does make them very expensive and this is an 18 watt lamp and I got this off eBay it was new old stock for uh, I think it was 9.99 with free shipping which was actually quite cheap normally brand new from proper legit sites and that they actually cost about £20 but so this was new old stock I also got the ballast which was new old stock and the capacitor which was new old stock so I've actually rigged it up, it does look a bit dubious but it's only a temporary, you know, I'm not going to use it like this, it's just to basically demonstrate, you know, how the lamp lighting up. They do take around 10 minutes to reach full brightness. Now the interesting how they're actually driving this circuit is with, what we've got is, you've got your ballast there, you've got a 5 microfarad capacitor which serves as two purposes, it serves as power factor correction when the lamp's running but it also helps to start the lamp. There's the lamp, you've got your live coming in, across there, neutral, earth which is connected to the uh, ballast casing. When the, lamp, when the, in, when the lamp's uh, first switched on, the lamp is physically connected to the uh, ballast but electrically it's not until the gas ionises. So the neutral and the live are actually completing a circuit through this capacitor, through these few turns on the ballast. So this is actually acting as an auto transformer, which steps the voltage up to a couple of thousand volts, which is enough to ionise the uh, the low pressure gas mixture inside, which I do believe is a penning mixture of argon and uh, mostly neon. <clears throat> and then as soon as it ionises, the, the, this that's shunted out basically. The uh, it, the whole lamp is basically in series with the uh, ballast. So the five microfarad capacitor is tapped there because there's only a few turns there it just acts as a standard power factor correction capacitor that's how I think it works anyway I'm not an expert but it's uh, from what research I've gathered so it operates on this ballast is a 240 or 50 hertz ballast I presume if these lamps are used in other countries I presume they would have a, a correct ballast or a different sort of ignition system to operate them I don't know but uh, we'll switch it on Pretty much it instant, instantaneously lights up now, that's the uh, colour, it looks a bit different on camera but it's actually more of a, a pink colour and like I say it does take 10 minutes to reach full brightness. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video, wait 10 minutes and then uh, we'll have a look at it when it's uh, at full brightness. Right, here we are about 10 minutes later and uh, the lamp's just about reached full brightness and it's actually it doesn't look that bright in here because there is actually sunlight shining in through one of the windows but if, it's, if it was a dark room it would be, would be incredibly bright. For an 18 watt lamp it's bright and when they say that these are actually some of the most efficient lamps ever produced I could say yes they probably are uh, because the wavelength of light that they produce is close to the uh, peak uh, sensitivity of the human eye. Obviously the, the, it's just it's a monochrome so Colours don't, well, it, it's almost impossible to t uh, tell the difference with colours with, that, with just the light of that on its own because of uh, the wavelength. It's just a single wavelength that comes out, which is the sodium spectrum. Now, it, it's only just reached full brightness, but the glass doesn't actually get that hot. 
I can touch that, that's, that's very warm. And if that was a high pressure sodium lamp, even after it had just been turned on and it had reached full brightness, I'd, I'd have had burns on my hand. So they are quite, they do run quite cool. And uh, I've measured the voltage across the lamp with a multimeter and it's uh, 67 volts across the lamp. So the rest of that will be taken up by the ballast. Oh, so I've hung it up so it's a bit so it's not lean on the cold steel uh, welding bench anymore, and I think uh, that pretty much wraps it up. It's a, it is a shame they're actually they, these lamps are disappearing from the streets now because of uh, their high cost because it's only an 18 watt lamp, but what goes into it there's a lot to it, and I mean you can get like a 20 watt LED strip and it'll be it'll be a fraction of the cost i mean the the, the lamps themselves are rated for about sixteen thousand hours so they generally class a thousand hours as a in a, a, as a 12 months of use which is on average on and off so you know 15 16 years for a lamp i mean i mean we don't even know if leds last that long because uh 15 years ago super bright leds weren't very common so so the, the lifespans of some of these super bright LEDs you can get now, it's just an estimate really. But uh, I'd say the cost of these lamps is why they've pretty much, they've pretty much faded out. And also the other, other downside, they're also bulky because, I mean, that's quite large for an 18 watt lamp. And I mean, a 400 watt high pressure sodium lamp would be about the same size as that. The, uh, the much longer ones that they use, they used to use on the, the, the above the motorway networks in the UK. Some of them went up to like a hundred. I think off the top of my head, one hundred and thirty-five watts, and they're, they're they're like a you know a few a couple of feet long, about two foot long, and that to be supported. And of course, you get some LED LED chips now that hundred watt plus, and uh, they're, they're tiny. So, but they're still an interesting lamp, and uh, I am looking at uh, welding up. Uh, Probably a fixture or like a something that looks fancy that that would actually fit into, and I may may, may list it on eBay. Yeah, obviously. Uh